This is Vet Tales, the story of the Sailing Veterinary Clinic. Last episode, we began our journey south to Puerto Escondido and shared our latest project with Dr. Jenny in Puerto Madero. This episode, we jump on a plane to head to La Cruz for a veterinary project and to collect old Van Rico. cleaned up and packed up because we are heading to La Cruz tomorrow. Uh, somewhat of a last minute trip. We found $40 flights to La Cruz, which happens to be where Van Rico, our car is. So we're gonna head over there and try and sort out the documents for the van and see whether we can bring it back over here or if we just need to get rid of it or what the go is. So that'll be really good. And Jim's parents and my parents are both going to visit us at the same time so they can finally meet each other. So that's really exciting too. So yeah. We got a fun little side trip planned. So we're in La Cruz trying to sort out Van Rico and the car situation. And yeah, so far it's not going great. Can't turn the key. We charged the battery overnight because we thought that could have been the problem. Well, Mike from PV Sailing charged the battery overnight for us. Still no go. Uh, the ignition just won't turn. The steering, it's not a steering lock problem. So there's either a problem within like the ignition control or maybe an electrical thing it's kind of like stopping us from turning it for some reason so one of mike from pv sailing's guys is going to just take a look for us to see if he can get it going he apparently knows a little bit about cars if not we're gonna to have to try and get a mechanic to come here to see if we can start the car and get it to a mechanic to then get everything else looked at we'll see what happens went into the OXO and did the transfer to Jenny. So uh, Jenny is the veterinarian who works in Puerto Madero doing outreach. She does things like vaccination campaigns and also treats the street dogs in the area. So yeah, she's doing very important work and we sponsor 250 US dollars a month goes towards Jenny so that she can continue to do this every month. If you would like to sponsor a month for Jenny and the work she does with the animals of Puerto Madero, you can make a donation, plenty of links below on how to do that. After getting Van Rico into a mechanic, I was off on a mini vet project to visit the new veterinary clinic associated with the Wet Nose Rescue Centre we had visited last year. This new clinic, also called Wet Noses, has state-of-the-art equipment and is training local veterinarians to be able to offer gold standard veterinary care in Mexico. Hello. Just gonna check them gummies. Oh yeah, she might. Bit of an older doggo. Yeah. The clinic provides advanced medical and surgical treatment to the rescued dogs and cats at the shelter. Because have you guys seen many cases of TBT where it all? Yes. Yeah, so that, that would be, it does have that look to it. A recent rescue dog had a difficult to diagnose lump so they asked me to come in for a second opinion and to perform an abdominal ultrasound to check for evidence of internal tumours. 
We performed twice weekly ultrasounds on the bears when I worked in China, so I have a lot of practice. We took samples from the lump to check under the microscope before performing an ultrasound to check the internal organs. It was pretty special to be using such advanced equipment again. I'd also like to say a special thank you to one of our patrons who filmed this for us. We ended up sending samples to the USA to get an accurate diagnosis so she could begin chemotherapy treatment. There was one large... Talking about animal rescue, if you like sailing and animals, be sure to check out Sailing Sunday's channel. They are currently exploring the west coast of the USA with their dog Jackson and raising a rescue kitten. Yeah. All right, we're in Ian's car and on our way to the mechanic. They've had the car for like 10 days. We've only spoken to them in Spanish about it. So we're not entirely sure what's been done and what's wrong with it. So yeah, we're about to find out what kind of shape he's in. Oh, and the car on that side of us. <laughs> well, we have found ourselves in a chaotic area called Mescales to get the passenger window fixed because it currently is stuck down. Uh, so the motor, I guess the motor broke or something. Anyway, so we've taken a little guy here. So the other mechanic basically kind of just did like a general service. Turns out our battery is actually working. It just needed to be charged for a lot longer. So, so far that's good. It's holding a charge. Um, we had like a radiator fluid leak with some hoses, things like that. So he's replaced them. Otherwise things are okay with the car other than a problem with the brakes, which is, I guess not so good, but we need to, we are going to get that fixed. It's going to be a couple of hundred dollars. It sounds like maybe like 500 ish maybe less anyway so we need to just look into that a little more but so far we haven't had to spend too much money on the car and yeah hopefully we can get this window fixed then basically we have some electrical problems we need to take to an auto electrician because the windscreen wipers you can't turn them off you can turn them on but you can't turn them off without turning the car off and the speedometer isn't working which obviously would we really need the speedometer to work um yeah but Enrico might live to see another day so far Outside of seeing family, veterinary visits and fixing Van Rico, I was also kept busy giving talks at the Cruisers Club on the work we do and pet first aid. We are on our way to get Van Rico. Yay! <laughs> so after all that last time I updated, I was worried that we were gonna to have to go see like five different people to get everything fixed. We found an auto electrician here in La Cruz and basically he was like, oh, I'm an auto electrician, but I'm also a mechanic. I do everything. So he's fixed the trunk because that was falling down. He got our windscreen wipers to work. Very ingeniously, it sounds. Um, fixed our air conditioning. Uh, basically everything and for a really good price um, much much cheaper than we would have paid anywhere else so yeah we'll go see Venrico and see how he's working and see all the fixes that Choi came up with it's pretty cool we are driving Venrico Yay! Um, so the only thing really left is that the brake brake booster um, is making some noise and so Choi can basically pull it apart, potentially rebuild it which would be very cheap, possibly have to replace the part which is not super expensive. I think they're like, you know, 200 ish dollars but brakes are important so we probably look at doing that. Um, but he'll need the car for three days so we're just gonna have it and use it for a couple days and then bring it back to him and get that final thing fixed and Hopefully he'll be good for a while. We'll see. Oh, and it's pretty cool the way he fixed the windscreen wipers. So basically they were getting stuck permanently on 
and we'd have to turn the car off to stop the windscreen wipers, which is a giant pain. And basically he said, instead of pulling it all apart and having to get the motor and replace the motor, which would have been a lot of work, he basically has put a light in, like literally a light bulb that's acting kind of as a relay. And now they turn on and off. So it's like a really, I don't completely understand how it all works, but it works now. And that's a really easy, quick, cheap fix. So yay for Chewy. We happened to be in La Cruz during the Patreon Saint Week and saw the fishermen's procession with the dawned pungas all filing out together to form a large cross at sea. heading to Marina La Cruz for a rigging workshop that's being hosted by Mike from PV Sailing and Jamie from SV Totem. So I'm very excited to learn more about the rigging. It'll put us in good steed for having to redo the rigging this year. And I'll learn how to inspect it myself, which is gonna be very useful. Well, that was awesome. Jamie and Mike really know a lot about rigging and yeah, I feel like I have a better grasp of everything now. But the most important things I've learned is we have not been caring for our rigging as we should in particular. I don't know when the last time the rig was tuned was, but you know, it's been years and years, which is too long, far too long. So yeah, um, and it sounds like we're probably gonna need well, we definitely do need to replace our rigging. We're talking to Jamie and Mike. We're probably going to need to take the mast down when we do it because of the corrosion that's on the mast, which is likely secondary to the electrolysis problems we had on Chuffed when she didn't have anodes. So yeah, learnt even more about dissimilar metals than I knew before, as well as specifically about the rigging. So it was very good to do. Makes me excited and scared to get back to the boat and have a really good check of the rigging now. And I'm going to buy one of those little loops so we can look for cracks because you can, um, Jamie spotted like four cracks almost right away on this guy's boat and his rig is only two years old and they were just these little pieces of rust and then when you look with the, the jeweler's loop, all of a sudden you can see this crack through the metal. So yeah, I think I'm gonna get one of those as well. Fun. We are in possession of Van Rico again. He has been in and out of the mechanics the entire time we've been here. We were hoping to leave yesterday, but he needed just a little extra work. But now it's ready and we're going to leave tomorrow morning and start driving to Mazatlan and we'll get on the ferry and take him over to Baja. Thank you for watching our whirlwind trip to La Cruz. We're excited to begin heading back to Chuft and to cross the Sea of Cortez once again, but this time on a really big boat. You can support our work by becoming a patron or visit our GoFundMe in the links below. Until next episode, stay chuffed everybody!